Hi everyone, Julia here. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about how to make money on Shopify. I'm going to give you a clear overview of all the steps you will need to take in order to build a thriving online business from not even having an idea to a wildly successful online store that hopefully will make you money while you sleep. So if you've been considering this path for a while or you're just in the beginning steps, here's a preview of what that online business journey would look like and what action you'll need to take in order to make it all happen. This is going to be an honest and realistic inside view of making money on Shopify, not a bunch of crazy ideas about becoming a millionaire overnight. We'll cover everything from choosing what to sell, finding suppliers, setting up your Shopify store, designing your website, and driving traffic to your store. We'll also discuss the importance of creating a strong brand identity, building relationships with your customers, and optimizing your store for conversions. We'll also talk about how to promote your products with different marketing strategies, and we'll go into the basics and the importance of data analysis once you've made your first sales, and how this can help you grow and scale your business. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to start and grow your own online business on Shopify. I'm also going to go ahead and leave the best current deal for Shopify in the description. Right now, I believe the best option is the three day free trial and then $1 for three months, which is a pretty sweet deal. You'd basically be getting the first three months almost for free. And I'll also be updating that link in case any better offers come across or if anything changes in the future. The first step to making money on Shopify is to choose a niche. If you don't know what that means, a niche is a specific category of products that you can sell. This can be a broad term like clothing, or you can also get super specific like gifts for dads who love to cook. If you have no ideas at all, you could also use tools like Google Trends that can help you find out what's most popular right now. I'm gonna list a few great niche examples here on the screen, so you can just pause that and see if anything resonates. Just remember that if you actually want to make money, people need to want what you're selling. So ideally, the key is to find something that you're passionate about, but that also has good consumer demand. You can also use different SEO tools to find niches that have high search volumes and a low competition rate. That's the secret recipe to finding a niche. High search volume, low competition. Next, you'll need to consider what kind of business model you want to have. Two popular digital options that require almost zero upfront investment are dropshipping or print-on-demand dropshipping. You've probably heard of those terms before. The reason why they're so popular is because both will allow you to run and scale an online store without need to hold any inventory. You don't need to have any products with you physically, it's all online. You also won't need to ship anything. All you'll need to do is have the online store and sell through it. So how does that work exactly? In dropshipping, the reseller, in that case you, partners with a third-party supplier who holds the inventory and ships the products directly to the customer on your behalf. So when someone places an order on your store, Shopify would automatically forward this to the supplier, who then fulfills and ships the order for you. Again, the cool thing about this is that you can have tons of different products without having to invest any money in inventory. Now, print on demand is a type of drop shipping where the supplier you partner with creates custom products on demand based on your designs. What this means is you'll design and create mockups, but the product won't exist until an order is placed. For example, you might create a design for a coffee mug and then partner with a print on demand supplier who will print the design on the mug for you every time an order is placed and then ship it directly to your customer on your behalf. And because they'll only print the design if there is an order placed, there is no need to have any inventory before you actually make a sale, which makes this a very safe option if you have a low budget to begin with. Many of these suppliers have a really nice setup you can sync directly with your Shopify store, so all you need to take care of is to create the designs and get your store out there. I'm gonna leave a few popular dropshipping suppliers in the description if you want to look more into that. The next step is to set up your Shopify store. This is where you'll sell your products and manage your business. 
The great thing is that Shopify makes this whole thing super easy. It's a very user-friendly platform. Plus, if you need any extra guidance, I've basically dedicated this entire channel into helping you set up Shopify. So you won't be alone trying to figure everything out. In the Shopify dashboard, you'll be able to add products, create collections, set up prices, discounts, manage your orders, and you'll also be able to create automated email sequences to help market your products. Shopify also comes with a very user-friendly theme editor, which is where you'll be able to design your website. They have a lot of different themes you can choose from, many of which are free, and customizing it doesn't require any code. So you could most certainly do this by yourself, just with the help of a couple tutorials. And if you do want to dive deeper into coding, Shopify also offers tons of more advanced customization options. The point is, if you're creative, there are honestly infinite possibilities on how to design your store. By the way, I've just put together all the coolest stores I've come across into an inspiring digital magazine where I highlight what each of these stores is doing well. That way you won't need to start from zero and you'll have tons of creative ideas about what makes a store successful. You could basically just check it out, pick what you like, and kind of mimic the process in your own style. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and also tons of inspiring ideas for your store. I also included a full branding guide with all the help and knowledge that you will need in order to create a new brand from scratch. You'll find tons of tips and definitions on how to create a solid brand identity, basics on brand voice and tone, visuals, intelligent color use for sales, and other success techniques. You'll find both of those resources in a free bundle pack in the description. All in all, make sure your site is easy to navigate, that you're using high quality photos and videos, make sure your prices, promotions, and discounts are encouraging and logical. And finally, once you're ready, you can also set up payment and shipping rates all inside Shopify. If you're working with a drop shipping company, you'll most likely be able to sync your shipping options into Shopify. So all of that will just be added automatically. Now let's talk about step number three, driving traffic to your store. This is where the branding stage is mostly done and the marketing side of things comes in. You can have a beautiful store with amazing products, but without proper marketing, how is anyone going to find it? Know that it will take some time and efforts to drive traffic to your store, but there's nothing to worry about. The process can actually be quite fun and there are loads of proven techniques that I'll be sharing with you as well. If you do have a budget to invest here, the smartest and quickest thing you can probably do is running paid ad campaigns on Meta and Google. But if you don't have much to invest up front, there is also a lot you can do for free with social media outreach and search engine optimization or SEO. What this means is you'll need to implement a few words here and there on your website that will then make a huge difference to how well people can find your store on platforms like Google. Some steps into that process would be using high-ranking keywords in your product descriptions, titles, and also other less obvious areas like alt tags. Improving your SEO is a pretty broad topic. There's generally a lot that you can do to rank higher. So if this is going to be your strategy, make sure that you have some time to learn more about this. And when it comes to driving traffic to your site, I believe the key for success is to really diversify and use all the tools available as best as you can. Go all out on the social media platforms you think make sense to use, take advantage of email marketing, maybe look into influencer marketing, and whatever else you can think of to bring attention to your store. There are tons of tools to help you do that, so I'm gonna link some of my favorites down below based on what I've found to be most helpful. Overall, experiment with different strategies, be creative, and with persistence and a positive attitude, you are more than capable of building the life of your dreams selling online. All right, step number four. Once you've made your first sales, it's time to repeat and scale. Shopify will actually provide you with very insightful analytics on page performance, viewer sessions, conversion rates, and a lot of other useful information that can help you understand your progress. What you can do then is look at this data with a critical mind and think of what you can do to make things better. Maybe here you'll want to consider expanding your product line and targeting new niches, 
Or maybe you'll decide to change some of what's already running based on what you are finding out and the results that you're getting. You'll want to keep a data-driven improvement mindset. Again, there are also additional tools that you can use to take this a step further. There are even plugins out there that will record the screen every time a user comes into your store so that you can track how your website is actually performing. I'll also be sure to link some of those down in the description. Now, another important step that you will come across on this journey is building and strengthening your relationships with new customers. This will be a very important part of your marketing techniques like email marketing and social media. And here's why. Number one, customer loyalty. When you build a relationship with a customer, they're more likely to become loyal to your brand. And loyal customers are then more likely to make repeat purchases. They're also more likely to recommend your business and they'll also provide you with valuable feedback that can help you increase your perceived value. Number two, repeat business. Building relationships with customers can lead to repeating sales, which is absolutely vital for the long-term success of any business. Since customers that have already purchased are easier to market to, they'll help you maintain a steady stream of profit as you grow. Number three, competitive advantage. If your customers feel valued and appreciated, they're less likely to be swayed by your competitors. That's why having strong relationships with your customers is so important. A few methods you can use to strengthen your relationships are having proper customer service, engaging on social media, creating emails with personalized communication where maybe you speak with your customers on a first name basis, building programs like discount codes and newsletters, and overall offering useful resources that can be of great value to your customers. And a lot of this you can actually do all from inside Shopify. They have some really great email sequencing templates that you can use and also tons of customization options. And if you truly want to take your success to another level, ideally you'll always be refining your strategy as you go along. An improvement mindset is really what sets you apart and keeps pushing you into better and better results. And while this may sound like a lot at once, trust me, if you take these things step by step, one by one, you would be surprised at how awesome and simplified the whole process can be. I'm just gonna say this, there is something really magical about witnessing your own creation come to life and eventually change other people's lives. So I'm just here to encourage that idea to help you build your own success story so you can start living that dream life that is absolutely possible. So there you have it, that should give you a realistic overview of what it takes to make money on Shopify. If you want to get a feeling for how Shopify works now, I'm also going to go ahead and leave the best current deal for Shopify in the description. I believe it's a $1 for the first three months, which is a pretty sweet deal if you ask me. I'll also be updating that link. Whenever you click on it, it should be taking you to the best current deal. And if you're already in the game and you're looking for more tips on how to set up your store for success, I'll be creating tons of Shopify tutorials to help you get started. I also want to remind you that in the description below, you can find a free resource pack I've designed to help you further into this journey. It's a digital magazine bundle featuring a marketing guide and a branding guide. I've chosen some of the coolest and most successful Shopify stores that I've come across and I've broken them down into segments of what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and tons of inspiring creative ideas for your store. In the branding guide, you'll find pretty much everything you need to know to create a thriving brand from scratch. You'll find tons of tips and definitions on how to create a solid brand identity and other top knowledge insider stuff. You can find both of those resources in a free bundle pack in the description. And that is all everyone. I hope this guide was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press that like button. It'll make my day. All right, I'll see you in the next video.